So we choose top drops there. I went in with my guys and I got a whole bunch of uh, armor upgrades, so this way I was able to so easily survive that uh, second fight, so. Mm. New chain meals for uh for Ace and uh let's see um Yeah, new chain meals I guess just for Ace. Um I got leather pumps for um Queen here and uh, my rare item was let's see Yeah the Gloves of Destiny there, which uh, just gives a 9 actual uh, <coughs> increase in defense, so. But, um, since we're going to be getting so many extra things here, um, you might want to go through and uh, just throw away uh, some of your regular things. Um, of course, if you're uh, actually close to town like uh, you are now um you might want to just go back and uh, sell some of these things and uh, have some more room for, for items but um yeah i i don't know if i'm really gonna bother doing that so because i have another more important save file so Okay, what do we want to take? Um, I'll, uh, I'll explain the stone magic here in a second, so... Hmm. Okay, the blood armor, this is a really good thing to have. Um, especially for now, um, because as you can see, uh, because of sub defense, um, it raises our power, speed, skill, and repel by 20. Um, the only unfortunate thing is that it does 50 damage to us per turn, so, um, whoever equips this, um, if you can, I would, uh, put like a, um, Silver hat or something that will uh, at least give us five extra hit points uh, per turn, so um, that kind of cancels out uh, five damage, so we'll only take ten damage per turn. So, <coughs> okay, I'm not gonna bother taking every single thing here, so. really take the uh, blood armor so I can uh, show it off so silver robe yeah this one I'm gonna be giving to Isla to replace her old robe so and the kite shield nobody can equip this thing right now so mm. and of course I'll uh, Whenever you get a chance to uh, t make sure to uh, take the rare items like a uh, beautiful kennel here and uh, a statue, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be leaving those for now. I, I think I took every single thing and uh, put in my inventory for in my other save file, but um, really uh, that's not totally necessary, so. Okay, with the stone magic, um, <coughs> these things, um, I believe they, they have like a little glitch with them where, um, if once you get them, um, you save, then, um, you get into a battle and, uh, well, you save, then you, uh, then you use it, and then you get into a battle where you actually lose. And when it says, um, do you want to 
give up or you want to say no way or whatever um say no way and uh what happens is um the stodomatic will uh, actually stay with your guy but uh you can still go back and get it so anyways um what i am gonna do now is uh Let's see here. Well, I guess I, I really don't have to, so. Um, because usually at this point, um, a couple of your people have actually died. And, uh, you're probably gonna wanna heal up your guys, go back and, uh, save at one of the, uh, save points or whatever, um, say at the inn, so. Um,. <sighs> But I really don't have to do that, so, um, what I am going to do is, uh, right now, do not head north just yet, so, um, you want to head over to the west, um, basically out of here, so, um, you are going to have to take the long way around, so, um, you can't go directly through Brass Castle to get to, uh, um, like, uh, the Chimera in the Northern Cave, so, um, what I also would, uh, suggest doing is that if you can go back, um, uh, to Calera, um, go to, um, there's a guy by the Bujutsu teacher who, um, will have your, uh, stuff that you have in storage, and you might want to take that so that, uh, you can actually get like uh, the uh, iron hammer and uh, some of the seeds and all that kind of stuff. So, um, which I have already done in my other save file. So, um, yeah, you might not have even uh, picked up the hammer just yet. So, um, that is going to be our bribe for Peggy. So, um. But, uh, what I am gonna do is, uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me, um, I am, uh, just gonna meet you outside the, uh, Northern Cave, um, well, I'm gonna meet you on the overworld vamp before I even get in there, so, um, I will, uh, see you in a sec. Okay, and I'm back, and, uh, I decided to instead to, uh, stop by the Lake Castle first, um, because I have a couple of magic charges that I get a refill, so. Um. And as you can see, uh, from the little map here, um, we actually cannot go down into Ixe, so. Um. The Blue Mantis is, uh, available for us to beat again on Mount Haito. Um. I'm not going to be doing it in, uh, this episode or anything because, uh, it's basically just the same thing, so, um, I would suggest doing this one, uh, kind of on your own time, though, because, uh, during Ghetto's chapter, he seems to have some pretty okay stuff for us, even though we've, uh, taken him on, taken him on a whole bunch of times, so, um, also, um, I should have mentioned this, but, uh, um, when you, uh, probably went back to Calera, um, to, you know, refill your hit points and stuff like that, um, one, um, stop by the, uh, store again, buy some, uh, where items, uh, sell off what you have, um, sell off, well, I should say, what you don't need, and, uh, then, um, go into your storage and, uh, Take out, uh, whatever you need there, so. And while you're in Calera, and if you really want to, if you haven't already, and, uh, if you want to do it now, and, uh, not wait till later, um, I would take on Mike there to not only get him out of the way, but, uh, we can actually use him for, um, our support character with, uh, with Ghetto up here, so. I'm going to be doing that, so.
nobody I believe that we really have to talk to up here. Um, if there is, then uh, I just uh, have to run into that little cutscene or whatever, so. Organize the party. And as I said, we can't put anybody into our group or even take anybody out, so that kind of sucks. But the one really good thing about um, having Mike is that um, we can have uh, the trading ability, which means that uh, if we start getting overloaded with stuff, um, instead of just dropping it, um, we can actually sell items off, so... For example, um... Uh... Let's drop my meds and see. It says buy, but um, that means he's gonna buy it from you, so... I guess in a way, uh... It could be uh, considered selling, so. And they're selling, so. Why is buy sell? Um, not sell sell or buy buy? No. But. Yeah. So, like, there was a whole bunch in the way of potch, but, uh. Um. It's not bad if we start really overloading and stuff, so. Yeah, the in here gets kind of expensive, so... Not as much as I could be, um... <coughs> I think sometimes I've come in here and it's been like 600 pots, so... Not an extreme amount still, but... You know, jeez, yeah. But uh, anyways, um, <coughs> I am uh, not gonna be doing um stuff here in uh, Mount Taito, and uh, I'm not gonna be giving uh the hammer to uh to Peggy in the Great Hollow just yet. So, um, what I think I am gonna do is uh. We're gonna go down here to the Nora Cave. Um, we're gonna be getting my items there. We're gonna beat the Chimera. Um, then I will uh, show you why you want to keep the regular Earth Crystal at least for now on um, Isla in instead of uh, putting the Mother Earth on. So. Um, but uh, anyways, I will uh, just meet you up here by the Northern Cave. <laughs>